Yeah, look at this. No, God! It'll peel no, right off here God, like a sticker. Please, no, no! Like that, yep, no! it was glued no! to another car. Hey everyone, what is up? We got another good one here for you today. And before you say anything, I know what you're thinking. Detective Pikachu. Not the most popular set, but that's not all we have here today. Let me give you a little bit of background before you make any uh, assumptions here. This weekend, I was out doing one of my favorite things, and that is going to garage sales in my neighborhood um, and trying to find Pokemon cards. So I was out this weekend, and I finally, for the first time, came across some Pokemon cards that seemed like they would be worth picking up. So the first stop, I found these uh, Detective Pikachu binder at a garage sale. And I also found this Detective Pikachu case with a lot of cards in it. So I took a few minutes at the garage sale, um, looked through it for just a minute. I didn't spend too long on it, so I don't know exactly what is in here yet. Um, and then at my second garage sale, I found this little binder of a bunch of cards here. Flipped through it again at the garage sale real quick before I decided to pick it up. Um, like I said, I didn't have much time to look at it. I just thought I'd take a chance on it and see if we can find something cool. Um, so let's, um, let's get into it here. We'll start with this Detective Pikachu binder. So the person that was selling this to me said um, it's a full Detective Pikachu set in here. And uh, I flipped through it real quick and it looks like it's just the, uh, the hollows from the set. So let's go through this really quick, just take a look and see what is actually in here. There's some cool Detective Pikachu cards you can see up front here. Um, some pretty cool stuff going through here. This is probably, this is the page that made me buy this whole, um, this whole set. The three Charmanders hollow here and the Charizard on the same page. Very, very cool what we got going on here. Let me pull out one of these Char Charmanders and show them to you. Pretty cool card. Like I, like I mentioned, it's not my favorite set. Um, the the art in this set is not the coolest, but it um, corresponded with uh, how they did the uh, the art in the movie. So pretty cool here. We got the Charizard here. I think that's worth a couple bucks. If nothing else, we got the Charmanders, which again made this set worth it. Um, another Arcanine here. A few Jigg Jigglypuff Hollows. There's the Arcanine. There's a Jigglypuff. Let's see what else we got here. Another Jigglypuff, a Snubble. Pretty cool. He was pretty cool in the movie. Um, the Machamp is another one of the coolest cards, I think, in this set. Um, from the Hollows, at least. We got a Ditto here, which is pretty cool. The Slacking, Lickitung. So, like I said, it looks like it's most of the the just regular hollows from the set. We got Magikarp here. We got Psyduck having a little bit of a headache there. Poor guy. Hope he gets over it. Um, and he did get over it. Here he is celebrating. or having a crazy time. Not sure what he's doing. Um, pretty cool though. We got the Bulbasaurs. It looks like there's two different holographic Bulbasaurs in this set. Pretty creepy, the Bulbasaur. <laughs> Um, and uh, we got the Mewtwo, which is another very cool card in, from this set. Uh, the Mr. Mime and the Mewtwo. And I think that's all that was in here. Um, there's a little Detective Pikachu shop card. but Yep, so that was part of the set. Um, I flipped through this box as well. And it wasn't all Detective Pikachu cards. So there was a, a few different cards in here from different sets. But it looked like they were mostly common. One thing that they did tell me when I was picking this up is that there's probably some fake Pokemon cards in here. So I want to keep a lookout for that. I was flipping through the other binder quickly when I bought it and it looked like a couple of those cards may be fake as well. Um, I'm pretty sure all these Pikachu or all the uh, Detective Pikachu cards are real, but it looked like there might be some fake Pokemon cards in here. So let's... Uh, Let's kind of flip through it really quick and see what we got in here. If you guys see, I'm not the best at spotting fake Pokemon cards, so if you guys see anything that looks fake to you, please let me know. But I'll flip through it here. It looks like it's some cards upside down. I can probably go pretty quick um, through most of these, some energy cards in here. This is another thing I noticed in here that it has some evolution 
cards in here, which I thought would be pretty cool to pick up a few of these. Hopefully there might be some cool evolution hollows in here. Um, like I said, I have no idea what's in here, so we just have to flip through it. Um, here's a reverse hollow Palkia. So that's pretty cool. Some more stuff, just from all random sets. Look, base set Sun and Moon here. Um, just a bunch of the not too old of sets, but time around the time of uh, 2016 when the uh, Evolution set came out. Oh, there's a Charmander. Very cool. Makes it worth it right there. Two Char- oh. Technically we got four Charmanders, so that's pretty cool to pull a Charmander out of here. Um, some more Reverse Hollows, just some regular cards. A Pikachu, a Bulbasaur. Oh, there's a Rare from Evolutions. Pretty cool, the Arcanine card. Non-holographic. That's a cool one. Uh, we got some upside down cards here. Everything is kind of just thrown in here. Some more reverse hollows. Some more cards upside down. Like I said, I can flip through this stuff pretty quick. Another reverse hollow. Let's see what else we got here. Nose pass, Caterpie, Meryl, reverse hollow, Sunfisk. Yeah, like I said, not much of anything. There's an Aerodactyl card. Pretty cool card, actually. Sitting above the city there. That's pretty cool. That's a rare. So, like I thought, there isn't too much in here. So I can kind of flip through it pretty quick. It looks like it's just common, uncommon cards. There's a, a Magneton. It's pretty cool. A Cloyster. There's a Hollow Mars Shadow. That's a rare. It's got a tear in it, though. So that's probably not worth very much. A Jinx, some more Pikachu, Ivysaur, Plusel. Yeah, a lot of cards upside down. Like I said, not very much. I'll flip through it pretty quick, unless we find something that's actually worth it. Some more Rivers Hollows in here. And if you guys see anything when I'm flipping through this that you think might be worth some money that I missed, please let me know in the comments. Because I'll have to go back through this later and just check it out and see what's actually in here. I think we went through these already. Okay, that's the first stack. We got a couple rares. A Charmander, which is pretty worth it. But I think I only paid... I paid $5 for this. Uh, no, no, I paid $10 for both of these two together. And then this other... Uh, pack which has all the good stuff in it we'll get to that later but uh that was only five dollars and the guy uh was pretty excited to sell it to me so pretty excited to get five dollars off it that's a cool one right there latios holographic not too bad that's a uh, actually sword and shield promo sm88 no sun and moon promo sorry sm88 some more cards, just random sets. Kind of go through it. Oh, there's another cool one. Another Sun and Moon promo, number 86. The Pikachu. That's a cute one. I like that a lot. Some more Pikachus. Some trainer cards. Another rare, uh, uh, hollow rare right here. Poly Whirl from Evolutions. Um... Yeah, I wish these cards were all going the same way. That would make life so much easier. Um, an Arbok Reverse Hollow. Let's flip these again. Yeah, like I said, not very much. There's a Pikachu from Evolutions. That's pretty cool. Another Poliwhirl. Yeah, like I said, not a ton in here. Just keep flipping through it and try and find maybe an Ultra Rare card. I don't think it's very likely. It looks like it's just a uh, bulk here. That's pretty cool, that reverse hollow manatee. Yeah, it's looking to be a lot of bulk so far. There is, oh, I did notice one thing here. This is a sleeved card, Rayquaza EX. I don't know if it's real or not. Let's see. Usually the best way I know is checking 
the hollow pattern, checking the um, the set symbols to see if they're about the same size as the other cards in the set, and then the way everyone knows, well, this card's pretty beat up, even though it was in the sleeve. But yeah, if you check this area right here, the blue on the card, you can usually tell if um, if it's real or fake. And this looks to be real to me. The centering is so bad, which makes me think it might not be real. Let me know on this one, guys. I don't know if it's real or fake. Please let me know in the comments what you think. It looks... I'm going to say it's real to me. Just really bad shape. But um, let me know what you guys think. And help me out with this, because I don't know if these cards are real or fake. So, um, what is this? Bakugan? Okay. So it looks like it was just some kid's bulk cards here. A Diglett. And there's not much in here. Magikarp, just flipping through. Another Diglett. Some Reverse Hollow Butterfree. Yeah, not a ton in here, guys. Don't know if it was worth it or it's just going to be taking up space at this point. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Here's another Bakugan card. So that's not very good. Let's go through another stack here. I don't know about the fake cards yet. They look mostly real to me. But I don't have the best eye. If you look at the back of them, it looks like these cards are real. The coloring looks okay. I think everything looks okay to me. It's hard to tell if these cards are fake. That's a cool Eevee. But yeah, it's pretty hard to tell if these cards are fake, which is making me think they are all real. We'll have to see. They did say, I don't know why they would tell me there's some fake cards in here then. Because everything to me looks pretty real. Yeah, I don't see... Again, it's all just bulk. Some energies. Reverse hollows. So, there's another Detective Pikachu that they missed. That should be in the binder. Um, but I'm glad this all isn't Detective Pikachu, because that would be a bit upsetting. I don't want a load of Detective Pikachu cards here. Some more cards, more cards. There's a Magikarp. Reverse Hollow Machamp, Machop, which is, uh... Hmm. This is making me think. Look at underneath this, guys. Does that look real to you? You know what, I'm going to sacrifice one of these cards. Oh, it's not tearing. Oh, maybe it's because it's a reverse hollow. Let me rip this apart, guys. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, I don't know. Somebody tell me if this is real or fake. Let me grab a real card. Rip it in half. So you can see, there is a black line in there, which is what you're looking for when you rip cards in half to tell if they're real or fake. So I don't know, I've never ripped a reverse hollow in half, so I don't know if it just peels off like this. And then in the back, there's no black line, I don't think, or maybe there is a black line. Yeah, there is a black line. See right there. So maybe this is real. Maybe these are real, guys. Maybe we have some hope here. It looks... Yeah, they look pretty good to me. There's another of those, uh... Another Marsh Shadow. That's pretty cool. There's a Yevatol from Celebrations, which we haven't seen any Celebrations cards in this set yet. So that's cool. The Latias to go with our Latios that we found. And these feel so weird. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I need someone's help on this. Some more, there's a Haunter. Lunala, holographic. What is this? So it looks like, what else we got? 
It looks like a Mega Rayquaza EX, everyone. But if you look closer, this card was printed and pasted on the back of another card. Yeah, look at this. It'll peel right off here like a sticker. Like that, yep, it was glued to another card. So this might be the fake card they're talking about. It looks like it was just printed off a regular printer and glued to this card. It's got to be the fake card they're talking about. Yep, it's the energy underneath. So we know that was fake. We would have loved to have a Mega Rayquaza EX. But this one was printed off on a printer behind an energy. So that one is definitely fake. Let's see if there's any more of those in here. There's another Cosmog. Palkia. I'm not seeing much. Here's a Tapu Coco. But it's bent in half. Some more Latios here. Here's a Mewtwo from Ev Evolutions. A Chespin. Holographic. Yeah, guys, I really don't know. There's a lot of weird cards in this set. And these are sets that I'm not super familiar with because I started collecting right after these sets came out. So I'm not familiar with a lot of these cards. But yeah, it's some. There's a Venusaur. A Beedrill. Pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like they could be real. I'm, I have a feeling maybe the fake cards they were talking about was the cards that look like they're printed off a printer. And I think they were these were some kids' cards. So maybe the kids went in on their printer, printed off some of these, and just glued them to the cards. Oh, that's a cute one. The Sun and Moon Pikachu Mimikyu promo. SM162. That's a cool card there. See, some of these, like, I don't recognize this set. And the card looks so different than a, a standard card, but I, I'm sure it's real. Oh, this is another very cool one. The Mimikyu Sun and Moon promo 163. Very cool. I really like this card, actually. Mimikyu is another one of my favorite Pokemon. So that's a really cool one to see in here. Chandelure. Holographic, that's a cool one. But yeah, it looks like maybe just the one ultra rare. A lot of these are trainer cards now. Not great. I think we went through these already. Yes, we did. Let's see what else is in here. We're almost down, if you guys can see. We probably have two stacks left and then we'll get onto the good stuff. So I'll flip through these really quick. Unless we pull a hollow card out of here or an ultra rare, but looks like a lot of nothing. There's a vile plume, holographic, but not much else. These cards are not in the best condition. There's a reverse hollow magneton from Evolutions. Very cool. We have a lot of repeats I'm seeing as well. Detective Pikachu cards. What is this? Okay, and we're down to the last stat, guys. This is it. It doesn't look like there was very much in here. There's another uh, hollow from uh, Detective Pikachu. There's a hollow, another Detective Pikachu. That, um, I like this Hypno a lot. That's a cool card. What else do we got here? Yeah, a lot of nothing, a lot of bulk. Misty, Determination. Here's another one of those Pikachus. Very cool card. The Shaman. Oops. Shaman Holographic here. Another pretty cool card. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's another one. This is from the McDonald's set. That is cool. Don't have that one actually. Oh, and another Charmander. Beautiful. Pretty cool. And that's it. The tin is empty. We didn't get very much good stuff. 
Now guys, please let me know if you saw anything out of the ordinary in there. It looked to me like everything was real, except for the Mega Rayquaza EX that we pulled out of here. Um, but everything else looked real to me. So please let me know if you guys saw anything different. Now let's get on to the main event, this uh, Kyogre binder. Got all the Detective Pikachu stuff put away for now. Let's take a look at this binder. So like I said, I got it for $5 at a garage sale. I flipped through it really quickly and saw a couple things. First off here, and the main reason I bought this is because I opened it up and there was a Charizard staring me in the face. So this itself, I believe, is worth a couple dollars. So that's a pretty nice one we got there. Condition is okay, I would say. Looks pretty good. Let me throw this in the sleeve. I think that right there might pay for the binder, just being a Charizard. So again, that's the reason I bought the binder, just to get that Charizard card, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, let's continue on here. It looks like most of these cards might be in rough shape. So let's keep going here. We have a Jolteon EX, which is a very cool card actually. And I have to double check to make sure all of these are real as well. And it looks to me like it is actually a real card. So I'm going to throw that in the sleeve, stick it on the back there. Most of these cards I think are pretty good. So let's see, here we have the white. We got two here. We got the white, we have the black Kyurem EX, and the white Kyurem EX. So that is a pretty cool duo to have there. Pretty good, looks like the cards are real again. So no issues there. Let's throw these in sleeves. And these are not in terrible condition either. They look like they're actually pretty good condition. The backs aren't too tore up. They look pretty good to me. So let's throw these back here on the wall and continue with the binder. We have a Como OGX as well. We have a Lorantis GX. We have a Kyogre. EX, which is pretty cool card. I think this is, I think most of these cards so far have been worth about $5 each. So that's really cool. Every new card I get pays for the binder again. And I love the artwork on this card. This card looks so, so cool. Very, very cool. I love that card. Let's keep going here. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's pull this one out so you guys can get a closer look at it. Now this one, I can tell from a mile away, it is fake. <gasps> look at the hollow pattern on that. That is not real. Check out the back of the card. Now let me pull over a real card and look at the difference in the color. You can tell 100% that these cards are not the same. This Trevenant EX, for sure, 100% is a fake card. Which bring, raises my su suspicion with the rest of the binder. Hopefully we don't have many more of those. Everything else looks okay so far, so we're doing good. Here's a Slowbro EX, which looks real to me. Keldeo EX looks real. These card, These next two cards, let me pull them out. I did see... I did get a peek at them when I was looking through the binder. Palkia G Level X, guys. Very, very cool card. Let me set this one down. Palkia G Level X. That's a really cool card. I'm pretty sure it's real. It looks pretty good. The condition is not great, though, which is a bummer. But it's probably one of the most expensive cards we pulled so far. So that's very cool. Now this next one, check it out guys, Machamp Level X, crazy to find this card in here. I did see this card in here and I looked it up and this is like a $40 card in near mint condition. But as you can see, it is not 
near mint condition is really really beat up look at the back really beat up guys it's stained it's looks like it almost has water damage lots of whitening yeah this card is heavy played condition for sure which probably brings the value down to almost nothing which is so unfortunate this would have been a $40 card and guys take one look at this it kind of looks weird to me now that I'm looking at it let me know if it's fake I do not know to be honest with you it looks like it might be real but I cannot tell so that's a really cool one that we pulled out of here let's keep looking I think we were here yep there's a Diggersby non-holographic here's a Malamar non-holo it looks like all the good cards might have been up front Zapdos we have a pretty cool an Arcanine holographic from Sun and Moon base set a lot of these are Sun and Moon base set as you can see the symbol down here Sun and Moon base set Pidgeot beware these are just regular cards in here. Nothing special. Luxray. Holographic. Magmortar. Um, here's a Tapu Koko. I think we had one of those in the, uh, the first box and it was pretty beat up. There's the Hoopa Unbound, which is pretty cool. Oh, another one of the Hypnos. The Reverse Hollow version. I like the art on that car. It's very cool. Right on. Machoke. Oh, this is a cool one. What is this? A reverse hollow Gengar. Which has really cool art on this card. Gengar, again, being another one of my favorite Pokemon. That's a cool pull. I like that one. Stick it down here. The condition. Again, it's pretty beat up. Whoever had these cards did not take the best care of them. Because they're all pretty beat up. Um, what else we got here? An onyx some more cards just regular oh there we go that one's pretty cool polyrath from evolutions i thought it was a base set which would have been really really cool but no it's a evolutions holographic polyrath in not great condition maybe light played moderately played it's got a lot of whitening on the back. A few, no, maybe not very many scratches on the front. But yeah, there's a lot of whitening on the back over here and over here. But that's a pretty cool card. Um, almost the end of the binder here. Let's see if we can pull one more nice card out of here. Uh, Venusaur, we got a couple of those already. Um, this is interesting. This is a Chandelure card from Plasma Force, I believe. Which is pretty old. That's a 2013 card. The blue borders are something that kind of stand out on this. You don't see many cards with blue borders. It's usually the yellow or the, the silver. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much it's worth, but that's a pretty cool card. Um, and then the last is a big night. So hopefully, best case scenario, all these cards are real. We know the Trevenant EX is not real. So whenever I see one fake card in there, it kind of spoils the bunch. So hopefully the rest of these cards are real. I'll go through and look at them a little bit more closely to make sure everything's real. Um, if you guys seen anything out unusual, please let me know in the comments so that I know um, that I don't have fake cards here. But I'll take a look at them. Too bad this Machamp EX or Level X is not in better condition. Man, that's a real bummer. Like I said, going to garage sales is one of my favorite things to do on the weekend. So I'm going to continue to look for more Pokemon cards out at garage sales. And whatever I find, I will show to you guys. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the action. Leave a like if you like this video and you want to see more garage sale content. Thanks so much for watching.